How's it going, everybody? Hey, it's Mark Fanatic here, and tonight I am going to be reviewing the May 18th, 2022 edition of AEW Dynamite. So, without further ado, let's get started. And first match of the card, we had an Owen Hart tournament quarterfinal match between Samoa Joe and Johnny Elite. Now, when I first saw the name Johnny Elite on the Titantron, I was assuming it was for Johnny Gargano, but that was not the case, <laughs> um, as that was for John Morrison, or Johnny Nitro, Johnny Impact, whatever, the main of a thousand names, as I like to call him. Uh, so yeah, I was a bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I was expecting Johnny Gargano, or even Cesaro, for that matter, I really wanted to see Cesaro, but that didn't happen. Um, but you know, the match was okay. Uh, there was a few botches, like that 450 splash from Johnny Elite. I thought it didn't look that great, but it was whatever. At least Mojo advanced. And up next, we got Hangman on a page versus Kanosuke Takeshita. And this match was great, as expected. Uh, these two went at it. There was tons of near falls, a lot of back and forth action. Um, I will say that it was a bit disheartening to see Konosuke lose, but of course Anna Page was going to win, so yeah, that didn't really bother me too much. But yeah, uh, great match nonetheless. And for that, we got a tag team match between the Rook Horsemen versus Keith Lee and Swerve Strickland. And this was pretty much a squash match, so not too much for me to talk about here. But I gotta say, Keith Lee and Spurs Strickland have an awesome tag team finishing move. Uh, probably the best in the company right now, so yeah, really cool stuff. And next we got a segment between Warlow and MJF, where Warlow must take 10 lashes. And to be honest, I really wasn't looking forward to this segment because we've already seen this done before with Cody two years ago. So I didn't think anything new would be done here, but this actually turned out to be pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, and it was a bit different than the Cody segment in that Orlo really wasn't phased by the lashes. Um, he just stood there and just smiled, which I found funny. Um, but, you know, of course, MGF in the end did beat up Wardlow, so, yeah. Um, but all in all, this was a good segment. And next, we got our second on our tournament quarterfinal match between Kyle Riley and Ray Phoenix. And this match surprised the hell out of me. Uh, I did think it was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this good. These two killed it. Um, it was a bit surprising to see Kyle O'Reilly win since I just assumed that Ray was going to win since he returned uh, two weeks ago. But yeah, uh, no complaints for me here. This match was great. And then we got a face-to-face -face confrontation between Chris Jericho and William Regal. Now, I do not care about the Jericho Appreciation Society, nor do I care about the storyline. But I gotta admit that this segment was entertaining. Um, you know, these two just traded insults back and forth. And, you know, things got pretty dark at times. Especially with Jericho bringing up Regal's past drug abuse. Um, but what I really popped for was when Jericho um, said that he would piss in Regal's tea again. <laughs> which was funny because I loved those segments back in the day between... Uh, Jericho and Regal. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, a good segment. But I was surprised that we're not going to get a Bloody Guts match between these two teams because um, I just figured that's, that was the match that they were going to go for. But no, doesn't look like it. So yeah, kind of a missed opportunity. And next we got a women's own heart tournament quarterfinal match between Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, versus... Maki Ito, which you guys could probably tell that I'm disappointed <laughs> that she was the Joker, uh, which I am. And, you know, I know there's a lot of fans for Maki Ito, but I'm just not one of them. You know, I just find the whole gimmick of hers silly. Um, you know, we've seen her before, and 
yeah, the, the novelty has just worn off for me at least, so, yeah, um, I was really expecting Athena, aka Ember Moon, to be the mystery opponent, but it didn't happen, so we got Makito instead, <laughs> so, yeah, and when it comes to the match itself, you know, it was pretty obvious that Brit was gonna win, and rightly so, so, yeah, and in the main event, we got an owner tournament semifinal match between Adam Cole and Jeff Hardy. And this match was pretty good, although it was predictable. Um, you know, I really didn't believe that Jeff Hardy had a chance of winning here. You know, Adam Cole, you know, obviously was going to win. Um, but, yeah, I do want to mention, though, that... Um, I wish that Darby Allen would have won his match last week against Jeff Hardy because Adam Cole versus Darby Allen is a way more unpredictable match than the one we got tonight. So, yeah, um, that is a gripe I have with this. But, yeah, um, all in all, a solid match. And that will do it for my review of the May 18th, 2022 edition of AEW Dynamite. And overall, this was a fun episode of Dynamite. Um, I had a fun time watching it. And, you know, besides the women's match, um, everything else was enjoyable. So, yeah, thumbs up for me. So, that will do it for this review. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this episode of Dynamite. And, yeah, with all that being said... This has been the ASMR Fanatic, signing out.